Hello everyone and welcome to yet another interesting narration on Jeshree's podcast. Thank you all for your encouraging messages for the earlier episode of Shakespeare. I am happy that you all are encouraged to read and speak Shakespeare. Thank you so much for your kind words. I am happy that Shakespeare's episodes have been an inspiration to host various Shakespeare competitions and narrations all across. Let the inspiration be contagious. William Shakespeare's As You Like It is a comedy thought to have been written in 1599. It follows the story of Rosalind, a heroine, fleeing persecution. The play contains some of Shakespeare's most famous and well-known lines. Love is the central theme of As You Like It. Like other romantic comedies of Shakespeare, following the tradition of a romantic comedy, As You Like It is a tale of love manifested in its varied forms. All the world's a stage is the phrase that begins a monologue from William Shakespeare's pastoral comedy, As You Like It. Spoken by the melancholy Jacques. The speech compares the world to a stage and life, to a play and catalogues the seven stages of a man's life, sometimes referred to as the seven ages of man. Here we go. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. At first, the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arm. And then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face creeping like snake unwillingly to school. And then the lover, Sighing like furnace, with a woeful pallet made to his mistress's eyebrow. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the bath, jealous in honour, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice, in fair round belly, with good capon lined with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon, with spectacles on nose and pouch inside, his youthful horse well saved a world too wide. For a strong shrank and his big manly voice turning again to a childish treble. Pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all. That ends this strange eventful history. A second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste. Sans everything. 